This is an area where smugglers actually drive all the way up to the border wall with their vehicles and smuggle migrants in. It's one of the more dangerous areas. Yeah, this morning, a News Nation exclusive. We're bringing you right here our own Jorge Ventura getting an inside look with the Mexican military at their brand new Southern Command Center as they work to shut down one of the border's most dangerous smuggling hotspots. News Nation takes you on this exclusive ride along with some of Mexico's most elite military troops as they patrolled this hotbed for human trafficking. Jorge, I understand you got some incredible video of these cartels smuggling Chinese migrants over our border. Yeah, that's right, Marky. And from where I'm standing, just right across from me, armed smugglers have full control of the territory on that Mexican border. And we got a first-hand look. Take a look at this new exclusive video obtained by News Nation that shows smugglers in SUVs driving right up to the border wall and smuggling Chinese migrants through open gaps. You can also see armed men on motorcycles riding up and down the border, serving as lookouts for the cartel. And these scenes are nonstop in this area of the border as smugglers are making up to hundreds of thousands of dollars a day smuggling migrants from all over the world. A major reason why we are seeing a massive Chinese surge in this area is because cartels can make up to $35,000 smuggling a Chinese migrant into the U.S. And it's the exact same reason why the Mexican military says they want to shut down these smuggling operations as soon as possible. But in this remote area of the border with no resources and rough terrain, smugglers have the advantage. They know the lay of the land and every route that leads to the U.S. border wall. The hills give scouts an ability to always be watching who's coming in and out of this area and to keep track of Mexican military's movements. Even the ranches here are paid off by the cartel to serve as lookouts. News Nation spoke with David Perez Tejera at the new base camp, delegate of the National Migration Institute in Baja, California, who says taking on criminal smugglers is a massive uphill battle. We are at high risk in these areas. There are armed people, many of whom who are linked to criminal groups, and that is why we must be careful. Obviously, there is a struggle because they leave traps on the roads, they leave punctured tires, spiked wires, and rods to puncture our tires. They have all kinds of devices and trucks, intelligence, and people they paid off. They are watching us. At this moment, motorcyclists may be watching us from a hill with binoculars. This area has become a popular crossing point for Chinese migrants in recent months. Sources in Mexico telling News Nation that criminal smugglers in Mexico are selling Chinese citizens a package trip to the U.S. border. Chinese migrants pay anywhere from 20000 to 35000 to coordinate their travel and flights in hotels all the way to the U.S. border. Sources telling News Nation once Chinese migrants cross into Mexico and Tapachula, they are granted a humanitarian visa from government officials, which gives them the ability to travel freely in Mexico. Hundreds of Chinese migrants fly into the Tijuana airport every day. The Chinese, for example, get sold other routes entering through countries that did not require a visa. For example, the Chinese fly to Ecuador, from Ecuador they get an Airbnb, and the smugglers have them fly to Colombia or through Nicaragua. And there comes the same cycle that I mentioned about getting them protection to cross through Mexico. They eventually arrive here in Baja and then cross here in Yacumbo. And Mark, when I asked the Mexican officials, is this a long-term operation or a short-term operation? Because in the past, we've seen Mexican military here on the border for two or three weeks, and then they leave, and then we just continue to see that migrant surge. As of right now, Mexican officials say this is a long-term operation. They're actually going to be set, setting up a second base camp at another location with an open gap after shutting down a very popular smuggling uh, location in Hakumba Hot Springs. It's just amazing to see the footage that you were able to get, Jorge, and see how it happens, you know, from start to finish. I have to ask, you know, were you nervous riding around for this exclusive? And also, why did the Mexican military give you access? You know, Marky, being on that side in just such a remote area, uh, it was eerie because there were lookouts just tracking our movements. We actually had a one-on-one -on -one interview with a Mexican official who says we're actually, uh, they're actually looking at us right now through binoculars. He was looking, he was pointing at the guides. A lot of the ranchers serve as lookouts. And I think right now the Mexican military and Mexican officials uh, do want to start to change the narrative that Mexico is stepping up to stop the illegal migration. When I was in Texas earlier this month at Eagle Pass, we saw a lot of that Mexican military on the banks of the Rio Grande. But I have to say, Marky, here, in Tijuana, I would have to say this is the strongest force that I've ever seen. I mean, they're actively on the ground. They're working with Mexican National Guard. They're also doing rescue operations. Uh, but they say this is a long-term operation, and they're going to continue to shut down those open gaps and stop Chinese migrants from entering the U.S. illegally. Well, I know you worked your sources to get embedded with them. Uh, thank you for bringing that to us as something we all need to see. Jorge Ventura live at the border this morning. Thanks.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.